I'm Brian Prier, tutoring high school chemistry. Today's topic is the quantum model, and in particular, quantum numbers. When we discussed the quantum model earlier, we just talked about the types of orbitals, s, p, d, and f. Well, that was actually a somewhat simplified model. See, an orbital can only hold two electrons at most. When we talk about a p orbital, we're actually talking about three different orbitals that are shaped differently. Together, that'll hold six electrons. So, what your atom might look like, if a nucleus here, Maybe you have a 1s orbital, then a 2s orbital, then you have your p orbitals, kind of around here, maybe another s orbital, more p orbitals, and you get a very jumbled and confusing picture. Like if we were to try and write in the electrons for nitrogen over here, 1s2, 2s2, 2p3, it might look something like this. So very hard to tell what exactly you're working with, which is why we've come up with these quantum numbers. Quantum numbers will allow you to pinpoint an electron. But in order to use them, you have to fill out a chart, kind of like this one. When you do so, remember the off-bow principle. The lowest energy level will fill with electrons first. So let's write in the electrons. 1s2, two electrons in the 1s orbital. I'm representing them using arrows. An up-spinning arrow is an electron with one type of spin. A down-spinning arrow is the one with another type of spin. Always fill in electrons having an upward spin first. Okay, 2s2, and now with 2p3. You might be expecting me to fill it in like this but that's not actually how it works. See, while electrons can travel in pairs like over here, they prefer not to. So, long as, so as long as you don't have to bump anything up to a higher energy level, keep them alone by themselves. So, having filled in this chart with electrons in each of their shells, we can build up some quantum numbers for any one of these electrons. Let's take this one for an example. Our first quantum number is n. That's your shell number. That's just the big number next to your letter for your orbital. So that's a 2. Next is L. L is your subshell number. It tells you if you're working with an s, p, d, or f orbital. The numbers are over here. We're working with a p orbital. That corresponds to 1. So our L for that one is just 1. Next is M. Sometimes written M sub s. That's your subshell orientation. How do you find this one? You come over here. Label your middle line 0. Every line you proceed to the right add one, every line you sub proceed to the left, subtract one. So let me show you a d orbital, which has five lines. Your middle line is zero. To the right you have one, and then your next line is two. To the left your first line is negative one, and then negative two. But back to our p orbital here. Our electron is in the negative one, so negative one for our m. Last is s, our electron spin. I told you how electrons spin already. Some spin up, some spin down. Well, s is only two values, positive one-half for its electron spinning up, and negative one-half if it's spinning down. This one's pointing upward, an upward spin, so positive one-half. Putting all that together could get us maybe that electron right over there. But as you can see, this is a much more efficient method than just peering into this jumbled mess. To recap, what we mean by an orbital is really several orbitals in the p, d, and f orbitals because every orbital can only hold two electrons. In order to pinpoint an electron, we came up with quantum numbers, but in order to use them, you have to first fill out a chart like this. When doing so, remember that the lowest energy level fills first. That's the off power principle. When putting electrons in, spin them upwards first, and then downwards. Keep them alone as long as you don't have to bump one up to an extra energy level. Quantum numbers. N is your shell number, your big number here. L is dependent upon if you're working with S, P, D, or F. M is your subshell orientation. Middle line is 0, minus 1 this way, add 1 this way. And S is your electron spin. Positive 1 half if it's spinning up, negative 1 half for down. That's all for now. Again, I'm Brian Prier. See you next time.